Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Explanation. So in last video we covered the commands of SQL that is some basics commands DCL, DDL, DML commands and TCL command. So in today's video I am going to uh, give you some question or we are going to solve some questions related to SQL command. Okay. So first of all this is the definition of SQL command that is structured query language and it is a standard database language that is used to create, maintain and retrieve the relational database. Okay, so we'll solve this question. We'll we'll try to solve some SQL commands question in this video. So for this, we are going to consider a student table which has got some five columns and number of attributes. So we can see that this is a student table. This is the name of table, and it has got the uh, number of columns like roll number, name, address, phone, and age. Okay, so these are the attributes, and there are some queries that we have to execute. So first of all, you might get a question like this: Write SQL command to retrieve attributes. We have to retrieve the attributes, roll number and name. Okay, we have to retrieve the attributes, roll number and name of all students. Okay, so we know that for retrieving the attribute, we have got a select command. Okay, so here. Only we need the attributes, roll number, and name. That's why we are going to write explicitly this uh, thing as select roll comma name from this table student table. Okay, so here we can see we can we have used here two commands select command and from command, and this is our table and this is the name of the attribute. Okay, in case they have asked you to retrieve all the attributes of all student, so the command would be have select star from student. So a star represents and the answer would be all the tables. So what will be answer for this? So the answer will be a table like this with attributes, role, number, role we can say or name. Okay. So please don't get confused here. Somewhere I have written role number, somewhere I have written role. So this role number and role, this is the same thing. So please consider this. Now let's go to the next question. So the next question is retrieve role number and name of the student whose role number is greater than one. Okay. So what will be the command for this? Can you guess it? Okay. So let's see. So the the command for this will be we have to select role number and name. So the first command we have to write is select role and name name from from student and what is the condition here the condition is whose role number is greater than one so here we will be using a more command known as a where command okay so what we have to do is we have to select the role number and name from this student table where the role is greater than one okay so here what will be the answer the answer will be answer will be there will be only two column that is roll number and name and only the students with roll number greater than one will be displayed in this table okay so let's go to next question that is retrieve all attributes retrieve all attributes of a student whose roll number is greater than one okay same query above query but instead of writing roll number and name we are going to write star here okay so star is going to print all the attributes next one is represent the relation in ascending order by is okay ascending order means from uh, lower to higher yes so we want to display our table in the form of ascending order by age okay so here they have not mentioned that you have to retrieve only name or only roll number so they are going to they have asked you represent the relation it means that you have to represent the whole relation that's why we are going to use the command select star star means all the columns so select star from which table from a student table and what they have asked is they are they are asking to order this age attribute this age column in ascending order so for this we have got a special command known as order by command okay so if you use order by command and if you use the attribute name here the column name here it is going to sort this column in ascending order by default okay and if you want to arrange this in descending order so you have to explicitly write here order by desc it means that order in descending order but if you are not going to write anything beside this it is going to sort in ascending order by default okay similarly if you write select a star from a student order by roll number so what it is going to do it is going to sort it by one two three four so it is already sorted similarly you can do other sorting also okay 
now let's go and see the next command which is retrieve distinct value of an address okay so what is distinct value so in the table you have seen that in the table in the address field we have got multiple location of same type for example ktm and ktm let me show you this so here you can see this here in address we have got we have got duplicate ktm ktm and ktm so it is asking this command is asking you to retrieve distinct value of an address it means that this query wants you to display only address attribute only address attribute which has the value like ktm pkr and bir so this will be the answer of this output this query so how to write this query so first of all we have to select what we have to select we have to select the address okay so if you write only this command select we will not write this if you write only this select address from a student what is it going to display it is going to display the column address with the attribute ktm pkr bir and ktm but if you use the word distinct here it is going to cancel the two similar addresses and it is going to display this table that is a single ktm pkr and bir so this is used to remove the duplicate value so we use the keyword distinct here fine now let's go to the other functions of sql command so we have got some more functions which is known as aggregate function okay so aggregate functions they are used to perform the mathematical operations on the data value so what are the mathematical operations so the mathematical operation can be for example if you want to count the number of attributes u u and t count the number of attribute if you want to perform summation to something if you want to find the average of something okay so these are called called the mathematical operations okay so these are called the aggregate functions in sql so for example let's go to one query that is count the number of address in the above table okay so as we um, look there above in the above table there were how many tables were there i mean how many addresses were there there were four addresses first one is ktm second one was um, pkr third one was bir and fourth one was ktm so there were four addresses here so this query it wants us to count the number of addresses that is four it wants us to count the number of addresses so the number will be four okay so what will the command so the command will be first of all we want to select what we want to select we select the attribute address from a student it's very simple but after selecting the address we want to count the number of addresses okay so sql command will be simple first of all it is select select address from a student it was our normal command and before this address just use the aggregate function count here okay let's go to the similar uh, similar question one more question that is find the sum of all ages from the above table okay so in the ages field if you have seen in the ages field it was like if this is a as column the it was like 18 18 18 20 and 18 i think okay so here we have to find the sum of all the ages it, it means this plus this plus this plus this plus this okay so again can you guess the command yes it is select a's from a student it is going to give all the a's column whole a's column and if you put the function sum it is going to sum that particular column okay similarly in instead of this sum you can use max function so it is going to give the value 20 if you use min function it is going to give the value 18 if you are going to use average function it is going to give the average of all the attributes okay let's go to next function that is find the sum of ages of students who belong to the same city okay so we have to find the sum of ages of a student who belong to the same city same city means it means it is the address okay so what will be the answer uh, here if you see the address field the same city means the student who were in ktm and ktm so you have to find you have to sum the ages of those student so i think the first student if you have drawn table in your copy notebook please look there so for the first student the address was ktm and the age was 18 again for the last student 
the address was ktm and the sum is was 18 so we have to do the sum of this two these two ages okay so first of all we have to okay first of all we have to select the addresses select the address of those students who have got the same addresses okay so here select address from student okay and we are going to group use the keyword use the word i mean use the command group by here so what does group by do group by is used group by is used to group the similar addresses together so here the answer will be only two addresses that is ktm and ktm okay so we are going to get the table like 18 and 18 and ktm and ktm and now we are going to perform the sum of that is of the students who belong to the same address okay so here the answer will be 36 let's go to the next question so next question is where clause and having clause so where are this clause used we can see it so here where clause cannot be used with aggregate function so if you are using aggregate functions like sum average and all we cannot use where clause here but having clause can be used and the where clause works on rows data not on aggregate data this is only some of the rules let's go to the question part find the role and name of student whose age is 18 very simple yeah so select role name from a student where age is greater than 18 let's go to the next question okay find the address and sum of ages of students from the same city and finally find those whose sum is greater than 30 okay so i think this one is the previous command only that was we have to select the address and we have to sum we have to find the sum of the a's okay from a student now what is this command as total as total it means that here we are going to represent this sum is that is the a's attribute as a total column because we are going to find the sum of the a's so i have mentioned a new column in the table that is total so you can mention instantly you can mention some column in the table using the command using the keyword as here okay so here we are going to select the address and the sum as total it, sum ages as total it means that instead of writing here sum of a's we are going to write here total so we are going to select address and total from a student group by address group by address means the similar address were grouped together that is ktm and ktm having the total greater than 18 okay so after grouping this address two addresses ktm and ktm and after finding the sum of ages we got the value 36 so which is automatically greater than 18 hence the answer will be address is there is ktm is there and total 36 is there Okay, so that was all about the basics of SQL command. So in next video, I'll come up with the join command. Till then, stay safe and thank you.